In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to upload an image into Midjourney and use it as a reference. You can add an image as a reference using a URL and then add additional prompts to that image. So you can combine images with prompts to produce a beautiful combination of the two. First, we're going to need a reference image to upload. So you can get yours from the internet and right click and save it onto your computer and make sure it's in the image file. For me, I'm just going to take a photo of myself now and I'm going to use this as my reference. And you need to head over to your prompt message, select the plus icon and an upload file pop-up will appear. Click on this, there's my really gawky photo, so I'm going to click on that and that's now in the message box. You need to submit that by clicking return on the keyboard and you will see that has now processed to mid-journey. Now you need to click on that image and your image will appear in a light box here and you need to right click it and copy image link. That's really important, copy image link. Once that's copied, you can just come out of there and type in forward slash imagine as usual and now you can paste your image or reference file. Your image needs to be saved somewhere on the internet. So if you're going to Google and pulling images from there, that you just need to ensure that the image is the image link with the dot file format at the end. Otherwise, if it's just a link to a website, it's not going to work. So remember that. If you have any problems, message me in the comment section below and I will help you. So I'm just going to submit that image to Midjourney to see how Midjourney translates that image without any prompts. As you can see here, Midjourney has translated some of my key characteristics, which is my dark eyes, my dark hair, my <laughs> nose, and my smile. You can see where it's pulling from. You can do a few experiments with this and see what you get. Now, the interesting part is that I haven't set any weight, and weight is the weight of information that you're giving to Midjourney. So in this example, I've uploaded a .jpeg as a reference file and then I've written next to it on the prompt vibrant California poppies so I want a combination of both the image and the text prompt so I can write that in there and apply a weight to it so if I added for example an image weight of 0.5 so it's giving more importance to the text prompt and then on the other end of the scale, there's an image weight of five and it's giving more importance to the uploaded image dots file. And then you can go somewhere in between, which is image rate one. It will give you an equal combination of the uploaded image as well as the text prompt. So now naturally, I'm just going to show you a prompt with a weight in. So I'm just going to type in that prompt once again and paste that image file of my photo, the exactly same photo, and give it a weight by doing dash dash IW 7.5. By placing a low image rate of 0.75, we're communicating with Midjourney to say, you can use that reference image, but use your own interpretation as well. So we're giving more creativity to the AI. So let's see what Midjourney has done to me. So it's made me into a window. That's probably taking all the colour details and the light information and making a variation from there. So let's see what happens if we add our image, a prompt and a weight. So this is the rendered image and you can see that Midjourney was referencing my photo that I uploaded and using the prompt comic book style and combining the two it's a very low image weight so it's referencing the comic book style over the reference photo hopefully this video has shown you exactly how to upload an image to use in midjourney and you now have a little bit more understanding how image weights work if you found this video useful i would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel i've also got a new instagram which is at prompt muse we have a prompt muse of the day as well as prompts for you to try to make your artwork more interesting consistent and maybe find your style within the AI art community. And that's going to do it. Thank you very much and goodbye.